to see we are going to start our homeopathy topic that is what metals and metals and non metals okay so in that see here what our syllabus here we are going to start okay so see here properties of first syllabus part is properties of metals and uh, non metals okay then second is what reactivity series reactivity series third is formation third is what formation and properties formation and properties of ionic compounds okay and our fourth is fourth is whatever corrosion corrosion and its what prevention okay so these are what our syllabus points from our homeopathy exam for our homeopathy competitive exam so see here uh, whatever introductionary part so listen carefully that introductionary part also okay so see here in introduction part so whatever discovery of metals and non metals is the progress of what mankind civilization okay so for nowadays prosperity of any country depends on depends on how much mineral presence how much minerals present in that country okay so there are so many uses of our metals and non metals for making uh, machines tools car trucks ships etc so many uses of your metals and non metals so better way see uh, for elements so see elements we are classified into these three parts okay so see whatever our elements we are classified into three parts so the first part is what metals then okay metals then second non metals and third is what and third is what metalloids metalloids okay so as you know the simple basic properties of these metals so what are which are the basic properties of metals they are hard they are sonorous malleable ductile they have good tensile strength they are good conductor of heat and electricity also then non metals is what non metal property just reverse of your metals okay or we can say characteristics of that metal just reverse okay for your non metal now metalloid is is what metalloids means what yes these are what they are showing both the properties of metal and non metal so whatever i am saying that each and every whatever your that sentence you keep in mind okay so we are going to start our next point here that is occurrence occurrence of metals okay occurrence of metals so see here in occurrence of metals what we are going to discuss here occurrence of metals okay so in occurrence of metals so very much important is occurrence also okay so metals are found mainly in two state okay as you know this first state is what free state and second state is what combined state free state and combined state okay so free state means what free state means see here metals whatever whichever your less reactive metals these are found as a what in free state so your silver okay your silver then gold uh, then comma platinum etc these are what occur in free state in nature then combined state so see in combined state means what they are or or they are occur in presence of what any what are in combined form with the other elements okay suppose we are going to discuss here some sodium so for sodium metal okay so there are some ores so nacl then na no3 okay so these are what different different ores from which from which metal can be extracted 
okay so what is the definition of this force so see pay attention on this force definition the minerals so see force means what the minerals from which from which metal metal can be extracted can be extracted economically economically or profitably or or what profitably okay so these are what ores means in whatever you are also sodium suppose you are giving taking example so any cell in no3 means whatever combines the elements these are what uh, so as you uh, saw our reactivity series from above, above the copper so above the copper these are what highly reactive metals in our uh, reactivity series so that is in form that metal is in the form what combined state so here very much important is whatever your combined state also okay now see here one more uh, here uh, one important thing uh, that you have to concentrate on this uh, regarding your occurrence of metal okay so some metals so some metals they are found in both combined state as well as free state so these are what see here copper copper and silver okay so, so these metals are found in both free as well as combined states okay so this minerals is very much important okay the mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably and and economically so we call it is what ores okay now see here uh, here one more important thing you have to keep in mind okay so see what that uh, important all ores see all ores are mineral all ores are minerals but but all minerals all minerals are not ores okay so already i discussed this it is important this statement all ores are minerals but all minerals are not ores okay now we will discuss here physical properties physical properties of metals so we are first we are concentrating on metals thereafter we will see what are non metal so see here physical say physical properties of metals so in physical properties of metals first property so that first property is what physical state first is what physical state so so many uh, people as you know what is the physical states of metals so physical state already you studied in lower standard also okay so physical state of metal these are hard okay they are solid at room temperature by uh, examples so many examples we will say uh, gold then our silver platinum so many examples uh, we can write here okay physical state of our metal but okay here exceptional cases also there so that exceptional case so see exceptional case here for your physical state of your metal as you know mercury yes mercury is what um, liquid metal okay liquid metal because uh, there is a less force of attraction between their atoms but whatever hard are there so in that what strong or we can say what highly or tightly packed crystal lattice in whatever your hard metals and here what somehow loosely packed atoms are there in your mercury so these are what ag is what yes it is what liquid liquid metal understood okay so see here next we will discuss second uh, our uh, property second physical uh, property in that melting and boiling point what second melting and boiling point so see in here in uh, melting and boiling point okay so say metals uh, as you know metals have generally high melting and boiling points 
metal surgeon rail what high melting and boiling point so why they have a high melting and boiling point because force of attraction between their atoms is strong okay it is one of the most reason because their high melting and boiling point so if you took example here regarding your beryllium okay so beryllium having some uh, temperature uh, range is there melting point range is there for beryllium that is 1 to so see 1 to 8 7 degrees celsius is what melting point and whatever your boiling point 2 4 7 2 degrees celsius is what your boiling point of beryllium so these are the example we took what for beryllium example okay so see uh, here exceptional cases also there again uh, your uh, whatever melting and boiling point so as you know sodium and potassium so this your sodium and potassium is quite soft so they are what low melting and boiling point sodium and potassium these are what soft okay the another another metal also there in that say cesium and gallium so cesium and gallium these are these are low melting liquids cesium and gallium is what low melting liquid low melting liquids okay so means what it can melt at room temperature also okay so these are what your melting and boiling point so we will discuss the definitions of melting and boiling point okay so say what is the definition of melting and boiling point so melting point we will discuss first okay melting point mp okay so say the temperature at which the temperature at which solid starts solid starts to become liquid at okay at atmospheric yes at atmospheric pressure the temperature at which solid starts melting solid starts melting to become a to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure so see here boiling point so boiling point definition is what okay so see boiling point is what the vapor pressure of liquid the vapor pressure vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to equal to its its atmospheric pressure understood so these are what melting and boiling point definitions okay so what are our next property so see our next property is luster okay see that next property third property third property is what luster so in that luster so see the some metals they have shiny and reflecting surfaces okay so as you know examples also examples what gold then silver they have shining sometimes copper also if you observe they have what shining and reflecting surfaces okay so what is the reason behind it so reason is what okay so reason electronic vibration of free electrons why it is due to electronic vibrations vibrations of free electrons so it is important reason here okay now see our next property that is malleability fourth property is what malleability okay malleability so see here malleability the metal have a property is what to be turned into sheets 
or we can say so say whatever that metal can be beaten into thin sheets so we that property is called as what malleability or it has a tendency to bear stress okay it has a tendency to bear flat sheets okay bear a stress okay so see here uh, what is the reason reason is what due to their elastic nature of that metal okay so as you know example so many examples here your gold silver then copper aluminium etc these metals they have a tendency to stress so to bear a stress to form what a flat sheet so as so many examples as you know aluminium wrappers are there okay now here exceptional case so that exceptional case here important here exceptional case one that is zinc okay that is your zinc so here one of the, here interesting to note that for the property of zinc okay normal zinc it can't bear that much stress okay but at the temperature if you increase the temperature between 100 to 150 degrees celsius it becomes malleable and again it become malleable and again whatever our zinc is malleable at the temperature of at the temperature above about 210 degrees celsius it becomes malleable understood okay so see our next ductility fifth is what ductility so see in that ductility yes fifth ductility so say metal can be okay metal can be drawn into a thin wires metal can be drawn into thin wires it is what ductility okay so here most important gold is gold is a most ductile gold is a most ductile metal okay so here also exceptional case exceptional or one case that is what zinc only understood it is what your zinc so see here our next whatever six so that six is our what say thermal conductivity thermal conductivity so for thermal conductivity so as you know thermal means heat so here transfer of heat from one end to another end suppose it is your metal so transfer of heat from one end to another end okay so that property is called as what thermal conductivity and metal showing that property so we call it the what thermal conductors okay so here again uh, most of the examples are there okay so uh, you know our utensils we are uh, uh, put on gas so whole water pot whole, whole water your pot is what becomes hot understood so here also exceptional cases are there so say in thermal conductivity exceptional uh, cases so you have to concentrate on this exceptional case because question will ask on this exceptional cases only okay so say mercury mercury and lead mercury and lead these are what bad conductors of or we can say poor conductors of whatever your heat understood somehow another property is also physical properties then electrical conductivity density okay and then your alloy formation sonority strain that also uh, you have to read that all whatever i told now electrical conductivity strength okay so these are that property you have to read these are very much simple properties okay so up till this physical property we studied 
that all properties you have to keep in mind and whatever our next part we will discuss in next lecture okay so keep revising all content thank you